Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief over at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Right now, I want to talk to you about how to rename a GitHub repository. And more importantly than just showing you how to rename it, which I will, it's fairly straightforward, I want you to be aware of what happens to people who have cloned that repository using the old name and what ends up happening. I think you'll find that interesting. So I'm in my GitHub account here. You can see github.com slash Cameron MCNZ if you ever wanted to come over there and join me. I want to rename a repository. So I'm going into my list of repositories. You can see I've got one called GitHub Made Easy. And it's got one file and it's not too much in there, just a readme file. You know, before I rename this, I actually want to clone the repository because I want to show you what happens after you rename a repository from the client's perspective. So. All I have to do to clone it is just say git clone in the name of the repository. Just need to move into that repository and you can see you've got that readme file and things like git status, I'm on master and uh, you can do ls-a and you'll see the .git folder. It basically it's cloned, right? Okay, there you go, life is good. Okay, now what happens if somebody wants to go and rename that repository? So maybe, you didn't like that name, why don't you rename it something else? So you make sure you're in the repository. So I'll just start over. I mean, the whole goal here is to show you how to rename your repository. So you go into repositories, you find the repository you want to rename, GitHub Made Easy. You go to settings, and then right off the bat there, it's just like, you know, the repository name, what do you want to rename it? So GitHub Made Easy, we'll call it GitHub Made Real Easy. And just click the rename button and there you go, if I go back to, well, my readme file is out of sync now, maybe I have to change that, but no, nah, I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, if I go back to my list of repositories, you can see that, yeah, the repository has now been changed to GitHub made real easy. Now the problem is, when I did my clone, you notice that I cloned GitHub made easy dot git. That was the URL that I copied. But look here now, this new repository, its URL is GitHub made real easy dot git. So I've got a different git URL from this repository than from when I cloned it. So what do you think happens now if I start doing operations like, you know, touch new file dot HTML, git add, git commit dash M, now what happens if I push back to origin? And remember, when I did the original git clone and the original git push, you know, it was to GitHub Made Easy. Now we've got a different name. Now it's called GitHub Made Real Easy. So what happens when I do the push? Think about it. Now here's the surprising thing. This actually surprised me, but it works. So the GitHub server actually puts in a redirect. So the GitHub server says, hey, you know what? Uh, GitHub made real easy is the new name. And you know, the previous name was GitHub made easy. You might want to change this. So the repository has moved, please use the new location. So you might wanna fix that up. And you can do that in your configuration files in your .git folder. But I just wanted to show you, you know, if you do rename the repository, the promise is all of the clients will be redirected to the new name and it shouldn't ricochet to any big problems later on down the road. Now, having said that, try to get your repository name right the first time you do it. But you know, if you don't, it's not too difficult to rename that GitHub repository. And there you go, that's the ins and outs of how you rename a GitHub repository. Now, if you wanna learn more about Git, GitHub, DevOps and anything to do with server-side development, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. And if you want to keep up to date on my antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.